how to paint a wintry scene a bit like this. You'll need thick watercolour paper. This is um, 450 grams per centimetre squared. You can do it with thinner, but it goes a bit wibbly. So step one is to get a little spray of water. I've got this tiny spray bottle and you want to have tiny droplets, not really wet all over. So you want tiny sp droplets of water so you can see the little tiny specks of water on there. And we start with pale bluey colours. For the distance. And as they dry, they get a bit darker. The trees in the distance will be shorter. But the bit that would be your eye level is always going to stay the same. A little bit more ultramarine. That one's got a bit wet, but that don't really matter because it's blurring in the distance. a bit nearer. So the nearer they get, the darker they are in colour. And the sprays of water help to make it look like blurry edges of pine needles. It's a bit dry in that corner. A quick spray. little shadow of a bigger brush. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll do another layer on top. Right, we're back. So I'm going to make another layer with closer trees this time. So the colour needs to be a bit darker because when the trees are closer they look darker. blue enough. Not wet enough. And you want the branches to slightly they don't want to be too parallel, they want to go a bit off in different directions. A bit darker at the bottom with a bit of blue, so I'm only using sap green and ultramarine, no other colours. And then a bit of blue underneath, just a little bit. And there he is. Right, it's pretty much dry. So uh, if you want, then you can add some snowy blobs. Um, I will actually do it on this one because it was already dry. So I'm just using a bit of Posca. And you can layer them up if they're looking a bit pale. Random, random blobs. That's it. There they are.